so sorry. That was Susan Landers. I should always look at the card first. Next up is Bob Rosenthal. Now, Bob Rosenthal is a poet and nonfiction writer who has just finished a book entitled Straight Around Allen. And he has been the chili cook for decades. No. Bob Rosenthal. <laughs> A true account of talking to the sun at the East River. This morning, I lie in my bed, not dreaming, not able to rise. The back of my hand flows like a large wave on the ocean, under the covers, grazes over half the hemisphere, an hour out of Halifax. Isaac rises for coffee, and we tread east to await her. Lower East Side is no Russian Dasha, no flimsy beach shack. Now I stand at the sun-bleached rail as the East River ebbs. In Brooklyn and Queens, several skeletal high-rise housing towers are going up. 28 years now again, you won't be able to burn through them, only between them. Now I see you illuminating highest cirrus threads, mauve glow. The ruddy boy leans with the ocean flow uptown. I didn't think that you could find me in the sixth floor walk-up dark room. You wouldn't knock at me through a hollow white door. The sun lifts her skirts of wispy orange. Delore eases over petrol tanks. Hello, she calls. I look up from my notebook. Yes, I came to you. Good, I forgot your address. The river bows in its center to sing its tiny ululations to her fieriness. You are older than the Vladimir and Frank were. I thought you'd be younger. I know, I've been sleeping a long time. I got up many times to look at you rise, but never before to talk to you. It's cold here, could you move a little closer? She grabs her hands and lumbers over the low steepled skyline. Thanks, that's better. I, I'm old now. I'm colder, too. That is, until now. So can you tell me, is, is it my turn? No, sleepy one. You will wake, and you will sing, but you will only be heard by the rippling water. The sun is lifting off and rising, enough to turn warehouse windows deep red. Street lamps burn like candles in a lit room. The day is starting. Wait, son, please tell me something that I need to know. I might not be here in 28 years. She smiles now. I see black sunspots on her teeth. Bob, be you unnamed and worthless, without ego enough to kill yourself, mm. I will send you a bill. Light through you. Every day is the last day of creation. Every day you will rise and gather the beams, the rays, nature's creations, and although your words are drops of fire scud over the water. What you breathe, they are also your shoes. The people you love, the human comedy you adore, and me, the grand creator. We all say, this is all beginnings which have no endings. Lightly, she rises into pale blue sky and starts cross town. Ustrovi, Kakiro.
So that was Bob Rosenthal. Now next up is another, yet another announcement. <laughs> the Poetry Project thanks you for being here for our benefit reading. We are a 43-year-old organization that is kept alive by community support. 43. Okay, next up. Don Yordi right, is a writer and teacher who lives in New York. He will perform with his nephew, Daniel Yordi. There they are. Daniel Yordi and Don Yordi.
thought it best to rise at dawn. Pour the gas, strike the match, put their makeup on. Isn't it the perfect day? Put a bullet through its head. Oh, dear Eva, we make such a pretty flame. 